79% of smartphone owners check their device within 15 minutes of waking up every morning. Companies like Google or Facebook are not only successful because their marketing strategies have garnered them millions of users, but because they have successfully tapped the correct nerves of their users. They have made their products so engaging that users keep on scrolling and swiping endlessly. They have learned to leverage human habits and emotions to always stay relevant in the user's mind. A perfect example is, when you want to search for some information, Google might be the first company that comes to mind. Amazon is probably your go-to app when you want to buy something. Hooked users become brand evangelist megaphone for your company, bringing new users at little or no cost in aisle. This book describes a four-phase process known as the hook model. Trigger. Action. Variable reward. Investment. The habit zone. Habits are automatic behaviors triggered by situational cues. Things we do with little or no conscious thought. User habits are good for companies because they bring user engagement with little or no external trigger. User habits provide the following benefits to the companies. Increased customer lifetime value. CLTV is the amount of money made from a customer before he turns to a competitor or stops using the product. Greater price flexibility. Habitual users are more susceptible to price change, so the product price can be modified accordingly. Accelerated growth. Users engaging with the product also recommend it to their friends, resulting in viral growth. Sharpening the competitive edge. User habits provide more competitive advantage to a product than anything else. It creates a barrier to entry for new entrants. Habit is when not doing an action causes a bit of pain. Habit-forming products often start as nice-to-haves vitamins, but once the habit is formed, they become must-haves painkillers. Trigger. Triggers create the spark needed to start user engagement for the product. These triggers over time result in forming habits. These external triggers ask the user to perform certain actions and over time forms their own internal triggers. The external triggers are more visual in nature. These triggers can take any paid advertising, a simple notification on the phone or social media interactions. There are four types of external triggers. Paid triggers. These include advertising, search engine marketing, and other paid channels. Earned triggers. These include media relations and public interactions on social media platforms. Relationship triggers. These include word of mouth publicity. Own triggers. These include app notifications, opt-in newsletters. Internal triggers are more mental in nature and come from inside. They are formed when a product is associated with certain emotions or thoughts repeatedly. For example, when you feel bored, you turn to Instagram and start scrolling. Action. The trigger informs the user to perform a certain action. It would be useless if it doesn't result in an action. So the action needs to be easier than thinking. To get to the desired behavior, there should be sufficient motivation, ability to complete the action, and an effective trigger. Behavior equals sign motivation plus ability plus trigger. Motivation. Humans are motivated to seek pleasure and avoid pain. It is difficult to create or increase motivation. So the product should tap into the core human motivations like social acceptance, desire for pleasure, ability. It is the capacity to perform a particular behavior. The product should identify the user's motivation and plan, the steps the user must take to complete the related actions. It should try to reduce the steps to complete the tasks. Doing this makes the product more adoptable. Trigger. Something that initiates an action. Four mental biases or heuristics that influence user decisions. The scarcity effect the appearance of scarcity affects the perceived value of the product. The framing effect the mind makes decisions based on the surroundings to make quick judgments. The anchoring effect people often anchor to one piece of information when making a decision. The endowed progress effect, it is a phenomenon that increases motivation as people believe they are nearing a goal. Variable reward. After completing the action, the user expects some reward. The rewards need to be variable in order to hook a user. If the user is able to anticipate the reward, the user might lose interest in the product. Variable rewards drive more user engagement. Types of variable reward. Rewards of the tribe. When a reward is associated with social acceptance, approval, or importance, it sparks an interest in the user. 
When users observe someone being rewarded for a particular behavior, they tend to alter their own actions. This works very well for social media products. Rewards of the hunt. We desire materialistic things and search upload for good and creative content on social media. Rewards of the self. We desire to become better at things and gain competency. Adding a variable reward to the goal makes it even more exciting. Getting badges on competitive websites makes users come back to earn more of them. Experiences with finite variability become less engaging because they eventually become predictable. Understanding what truly matters to your audience can help increase the user engagement. Investment. After the reward, users must invest in the product to form stronger mental associations. The investment could be in the form of their time, money, effort, or social connections. The more users invest time and effort into a product or service, the more they value it. Users value their own work way higher than those of others of similar quality. This is also known as the IKEA effect. The furniture bought from IKEA has to be self-assembled and thus become likable than an already assembled furniture. People try to be consistent with their past behaviors. So, once users agree on a particular action, asking them for another becomes easier. We avoid cognitive dissonance. Under social pressure, we slowly change our perception of a thing we once did not enjoy, such as consuming alcohol. Together, all these lead to rationalization, in which we change our attitudes and beliefs to adapt psychologically. Rationalization helps us give reasons for our behaviors, even when those reasons might have been designed by others.